Okay, so it says evaluate the integral by making the given substitution. Use c for the constant of integration. Okay, so here's the deal. In this case, they actually give you what u is. Okay, so why don't you give this one a try? Um, you try writing it because you've already seen me kind of demonstrate too. But I mean, especially given that they gave you u, go ahead and try to walk through the process. Nineteen. Uh, three. Would it be? Am I forgetting? Something? I'm doing this backwards. Well, no, you're you're on the right track. Du equals three x to what power? Not to the fourth. That would be integrating. Uh, you need the derivative, uh, so right, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we're taking the differential of both sides. So we need three x squared. Yes, and there's one more piece. Don't forget one more piece. M multiplied by the width of that rectangle that has yeah. zero width, which is dx. dx. Yes. Okay. Because okay. again, remember an integral is just a continuous form of the Riemann sum. The Riemann sum has finite widths to those rectangles. If we take those rectangles and shrink them down so that they're infinitesimally small, they don't become delta x's, they become dx's. So any antiderivative, and again, some people just generally call these integrals, but again, an antiderivative gives you a function back. But any antiderivative or integral requires a dx to be there. That's really important. Requires. Okay. Like that's non-negotiable. <laughs> okay. Okay. So then we're going to have 1 over 3 du equals x squared dx. Love it. Keep going. So then I guess we could write it as... Well, sorry, one third du takes care of x squared and dx. So those pieces are replaced as soon as you write one third and du. Uh, u. Yes. Du. Yes, that's all you need. Okay. 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 So what? Now he, keep in mind, once you're at that step, you're golden because the rest is a little bit of algebra and some basic taking integrals and in calculus. Okay. So what's probably a better power to sort of write this as in a more compact form? Yep. Okay. I would take the antiderivative of u to be uh, uh, And yeah, I think you're missing the constants out front. So what constants should be out front? Okay, so what constants should be out front? There should be two of them. Not quite. D the du went away because you took the antiderivative. So you go one power higher to three halves, but you multiply by two thirds. Yes. All right, so then that'll be, so be two over three times one. Three. Yes. Two two. Plus c. Don't forget the plus c. So you need a two plus over three c. here. Yep. Okay. Two. Nines, three, three, two, C. Yep, and there's one more step. Yes. So two over nine times six. You got it, buddy. All Sorry. right. Yeah, it's correct. Yeah, it's correct. Oh boy. All right. Look at you getting college educated. <laughs> Nicely done. Yeah. Well, th think about it this way. Let's do an aside to help you remember, okay? So let's think about, for a second, oh, I don't know, 2x to the 5 halves, okay? 2x to the 5 halves, if you take the derivative, it's like climbing down the ladder because you're chopping at the tree, making the exponent smaller. So that's going to be 2 over 1 times, let's see, um, 5 over 2 times x to the 3 halves. And again, this was the derivative step. And again, the derivative can be abbreviated d by dx. So then that gives us, let's see, 2 times 5 over 2 would be 5x to the 3 over 2. Now here's the question. What step brings us back up the ladder? Not derivative, but 
the antiderivative, right? Does that make sense, a little more se more sense to you now? Antiderivative yeah. means go back up the ladder, right? It's, okay, it's, yeah. it's inverse, basically. Go back to where you started. Well, in order to do that, we're going to have to go 5 over 1, because that's what 5 is. But then we're going to have to go x to the 5 over 2 power multiplied by the 2 over 5 power. Now, do you see that previously the 2s had canceled to give us the 5? But now look at this. The fives are going to cancel to give us the two. Because they get two x to the five halves power. Okay. Isn't that interesting? It's just, yeah. it's the other way around, but it's here we're doing exponent times coefficient first, then one less the power. The other way around, we're doing one power higher first, then multiply by the reciprocal of the new power. Okay? okay, so just kind of keep that pattern in mind. Is that okay? Yes.